Um, happy Halloween. We know Americans love Halloween. The candy, the costumes, the creepy doctor, the creepy shows, <laughs> all the scary things. But as beloved as the holiday is in the United States, it didn't originate here. In fact, the history of Halloween dates back thousands of years to the Celtic celebration of Samhain and a festival that marked the end of the harvest. We wanted to give you guys ideas today because you, you know, I don't know how many of you are going out trick-or-treating, so a lot of you aren't. You're home and you're trying to figure out what to do. So we came up with 30 ideas of things you can do tonight. 30 ideas. But we also wanted to talk to you a little bit about Halloween first. Um, the day was said to be a time when the veil between the living and the dead was the thinnest and when humans could communicate with those beyond the grave. A lot of people, especially Christians, will, you know, there are people who say Halloween, you shouldn't celebrate it. But we feel like that's a shame because there's a lot of things about Halloween that we want to take away a lot of the myst this mysteriousness about it. That actually, those were good things that they did, a lot of those things. Just like people think pumpkins were evil, but pumpkins were actually used to scare away evil. Jack o' lanterns. Jack o' lanterns. Yeah, Jack o' lanterns. Uh -huh. Jim, Jim's got his mask on. So if you're yeah. on the radio, I have my Batman mask on. He has. I have my, uh, my robber mask on. The second story man is. Okay. Name, so. But you might have to take it off. I'm going to take it off because you know you can hear me. Right? So you sound like that. you have a mask. So I, we wanted to say uh, that we are masked up today. Yeah. We have our mask on. Yes, so, we do. Uh, this year, before you go trick or treating or putting on your trusty witch costume or whatever costume you're putting on, take some time to learn more about the history of Halloween. It turns out Halloween is much more interesting than eerie and eerier than eerier, yeah, eerier than you thought. So travel back in time with us, and we may way back to learn some of the very first ghostly celebrations of Halloween. Um, it didn't include like glitter pumpkins or superhero costumes, <laughs> but uh, a lot of really fun trivia about Halloween. Yeah, and uh, Halloween has taken on a very very rich tradition in our country and over the last couple of hundred years, and. Um, you know, today we have made it into something really fun, and uh, so we, you know, we're going to approach it from that perspective. Uh, there may be a dark side, and uh, you know, you and I were listening to that presentation by Dr. John, or Pastor John Hull, a couple of days ago, and he was talking about, you know, making sure that our consciences are, are good about whatever we do, um, and then to to live well and to uh, not not to be uh, too uh, critical of other people in the way they. Uh, there observe were, the, mm -hmm. the, the uh, Halloween holiday. Now there were two things he said were so important to do. One was be um, yourself. Be what did he call that? Not analytical, but just just convicted. Listen to your he said be convicted. You have, yeah, yeah. From standpoint of conviction and kindness. Yes, and um, he wants us to be convicted about whatever it is we believe. I mean, if you feel like your kids shouldn't go trick-or-treating and you feel like it's bad, then don't do it. I mean, if you feel like it's fine and there's nothing wrong with it and your convictions are okay with it, then go. You know, and that's that's part of, even with the mask and the safety, I mean, if you feel like your kids are safe and you want to go out, then you do that, right? We, we really encourage that, getting out. Um, so if you don't, then stay home. And do some of the things we're going to suggest, right? Yeah, right. Okay. And so that's one of the things, you know. Uh, uh, the thing is, uh, as um, Halloween kind of came into the picture as a uh, time of uh, celebration, you know, it really had to do with the end of the harvest. And uh, October 31st, the last day of the month, uh, was a time that kind of reflected the fact that the harvest was over, uh, everything was in its store. Uh, the ground was dead in a sense. It was cold. It was lifeless. And so people stayed at home. They, they got in their homes because it was getting cold. And um, they ate from the stores that they had. But often there would be a celebration with that. Uh, it was apparently that idea of the deadness of the, the earth, the ground, and the coldness, and the darkness, and all of that, that um, kind of led to some superstition uh, in the early days of our country, uh, 1900s, and then on into the 20th century. But mostly in the early uh, 19th century. And that's when you have people like uh, Washington Irving coming along and writing uh, stories like, um, you know, <laughs> yeah, his, uh, he, he creates this headless horseman of Sleepy Hollow character, um, the legend of Sleepy, uh, the Sleepy Hollow legend. And, uh, 
Yeah, you know, that was in, what, 1820 or something like that. And so in that book, uh, Irving kind of tells about sitting around the fire on a, on a uh, really dark night uh, at this time of year, telling, uh, listening to the ghost stories. And, yes. the, the, and he, he came in, that, he talks about the German countryside and immigrants brought their own ideas with them and their own stories with them. And so, you know, that, it has a very, it's frankly a rich tradition for us. And, and uh, there can be some scary things uh, that can be a part of that. But, you know, we realize that uh, God is uh, powerful over all the scary parts of life. And so uh, we trust him and we enjoy life and, and uh, we, we, get, we take what God gives us, you know. Well, in Halloween, you know, when they talk about the jack-o'-lanterns that were used yeah. for scaring off spirits, right. uh, evil spirits, and then also, you know, there's other things that they did. The costumes were so they could hide from the evil spirits, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't know who was who, so you wouldn't get caught by them. And so, yes, they were relying on things like this to stay safe. And so it was, a, and it became a fun time over time. People don't even remember how it started. But those were not bad things. No, they weren't. And uh, the, the truth is that uh, even the kind of scary stories um, have a fun side to them, you yeah. know. And uh, so anyway, we uh, we have participated with uh, our own kids and uh, in the Halloween tradition, and uh, but have done it in uh, not in a cultic way at all. Of course, we we are not there, but. Uh, we would do it in the fun side, you know, and you have your Batman. I know, my fun side. <laughs> I got my Batman. It's a cool mask. It's a cool mask, yeah. 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 Well, and I have other ones, too. So I have the Avenger Captain America mask. Right. And I have the Hulk mask. And I have... You might want to put that Hulk mask on. <laughs> Should I put the... <laughs> you can put the Hulk mask, Hulk mask on. And then I have... Oh, who's that? I can't remember who that is. Who is that? Somebody's going to laugh at me. I do not know who that is. Is it Thor? I it's know. Thor. Yeah, You're right. It is I'm Thor. Sure. It's Thor. Oh, my gosh. I have Thor. I didn't even know it. And then I had these cute little elf ears, these elfin ears um, from the Renaissance Fair mm -hmm. that you put on your ears, and they look really real. Like they were messed. I couldn't get them on with my Batman mask. I was going to do both, but that so didn't work. And the headphones. Yeah, the headphones <laughs> kind of uh, takes the fun out of the ears, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. So what's the history of bobbing for apples? You know, I don't know the history behind that. I just know that it was a fun tradition until uh, people decided that they didn't want to, you know, put their faces in other people's slobber, I guess, you know. But, yeah, we used to buy for apples when I was a kid all the time. Nobody even thought a thing about it. Nobody that I know ever got sick from it, you know. Yes, yes. Well, and, the, you know, the Celtics did some pretty scary stuff. You know, they, like, talked to spirits, and they did the bonfires, and talked mm -hmm. to the dead, and, you know, burn crops, and... Worship trees. Animal sacrifice. Worship trees. <laughs> Worship trees is not really that scary, you know, but the, the villagers would attend the bonfires wearing costumes of animal heads and skins and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So that's kind of scary. And then the bats, I mean, they had the bonfires and it would attract the bats. And so people think of bats as being scary, like Batman, like, yeah. But anyway, so the Celtics did some kind of scary stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But that's not what we're doing. We're not doing that. We're just having fun. And so I really encourage you to have fun with your kids tonight, have fun with your friends, right? But what we don't want is somewhere along the line of all these traditions, somehow vandalism got in there. When did that happen, Dr. Slaughter? Well, because they were partying. I, it didn't happen, honestly, uh, from, you know, from my uh, research until after the first of the 20th century on into the 20th century, you know, about halfway through or so, and people began to... Uh, to make a, a big party out of Halloween, and so people would uh, drink alcohol and, and that kind of thing. And often what follows that is vandalism. And so, and, and even the trick or treat thing, you know, if you don't treat me, I'm going to trick you, right? Yeah, and trick so or treat. That was from way back when. Now it's become just kind of the thing that we say, trick or treat, and we get candy or whatever, and that's the thing. But no, I think, uh, you know, vandalism uh, and uh, traveling spirits and that kind of thing was uh, kind of seen together. and. And, uh, you know, I, vandalism to me is a, a senseless crime. And so I, I, I've never understood why people would do that, but it there, there does happen sometimes. Uh, I was reading about Nova Scotia. I'm trying to eat chocolate. Can't, can't eat. Right. Nova Scotia mytholo mythology says that bats on Halloween settle in a house. And if they settle in your house, a man in the family will die. And so they have these traditions about Halloween. That's kind of scary. So, 
they talk about the Romans, what they did on Halloween and the fall festivals. And there's just a lot of really cool history there. But we want to encourage you today. Some of the things that you can do tonight if you're not going out. Now, if you are going out, it's going to be beautiful. It's like 76 degrees outside today. How cool is that? What a blessing is that? We have seen all kinds of Halloween at nights, evenings and nights. You know, we've seen it absolutely freezing cold where you can hardly go outside. And we've seen it so hot that you actually had to wear a t-shirt. And uh, But tonight it should be uh, a really nice night to enjoy uh, people out. And uh, if that, you know, if you feel comfortable doing that. And uh, we're not uh, encouraging you to uh, go against your instincts and all that when it comes to being safe, um, you know, from a, from a physical perspective or medical perspective. Um, and we know there's a virus out there and we have to be careful. Um, that doesn't mean that we can't get together and that we can't enjoy life, that we can't have a celebration. Yes. And we're not celebrating, again, we're not celebrating uh, the occult, we're not uh, uh, celebrating um, uh, evil. No, 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 no. Uh, we're just enjoying the time and making what we can in a positive way of the spirit of the season. So. Well, and you know, we're all masked up, so we don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you can have mask on. And just put your costume on, right? That'll be fun. Um, and, and enjoy yourself. Of course, you can use hand sanitizer and all that kind of stuff. Sure. And people are giving out, you know, if it's all wrapped up candy, it should be fine if it's all wrapped up. And so I had a lady tell me she was giving out Kleenex packages. I was like, oh, that's so sad. Okay, it's not that someone wouldn't need Kleenex packages. I couldn't wait to get a Kleenex package. Yeah, right. <laughs> Kids go around with candy. They'll be incredibly disappointed. Okay, so I wanted to ask you real quick about All Saints Day. Do well, you? yeah, okay. I, I honestly don't know that much about All Saints Day. I know that it is, um, that's what they call in some circles Halloween these days. Well, it used to be called All Saints Day. I mean, uh, All yes. Saints Day was originally on the same day, right? Or was it the day before? I, I don't remember. Oh, my goodness, okay. Well, the Christian popes attempted to replace the pagan holidays like Samhain with events of their own design. Oh, so All Saints Day is a Christian tradition trying to offset No, that's the not the one I'm about to talk about. I'm oh. talking about 1000 AD All Souls Day on oh. November 2nd served as a time for the living to pray for the souls of the dead. All Saints Day was assigned to November 1st. I just read that. Obviously, honored saints, but it was also called All Hallows' Eve. Um, they do it on All Halloween. Hallows Eve. All, Hallow All Hallows' Eve was to honor the saints mm -hmm. and pray for the souls of the dead. Yeah, I didn't know okay. about that. Yeah. So that's really cool. The English traditions, you know, Ireland. Ireland does some really cool stuff. They set out gifts of food to please the spirits, but really, okay. And they put it out knowing everybody in the community is going to put food out, and they all share it. Right. And then they have scary costumes for fun. They dress in scary stuff costumes and exchange treats, mm -hmm. okay. So that just sounds really fun. They call it, um, you know, a gathering is what they call it. Okay. So that, that's really fun. So. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I, I, we've noted that um, uh, different countries have their own traditions for uh, Halloween as well as like Christmas. Most people know that there are different Christmas traditions, but also Halloween traditions. And the, the, there, there are lots of German traditions and uh, other, other uh, traditions from immigrants who came into our country. Well, in talking about that, the colonial festivities were similar um, like in, in America. They predominantly arose in the southern colonies. People would celebrate the harvest, celebrating the harvest. They would swap ghost stories and even tell each other fortunes and things like that, but they'd make it up. So we want to talk next about the 30 things we came up with you guys can do for Halloween with your family and yeah. or friends, right? And so we put together these ideas and also the best movies you can watch tonight if you want to have a movie marathon or today because a marathon is like all day right mm -hmm. so stay right here and we will go through that but if you could say your number one movie halloween what would it be oh gosh probably uh too late um, <laughs> so i get it back <laughs> don't do that to me uh -huh. <laughs> i was thinking um I like Ghostbusters. You like Ghostbusters? Yeah, I knew you'd say. I was yeah. thinking, okay, now I have a mark on my face now. That got really hot. Yeah. I could do Thor. Thor. You want to do Thor? Okay. I'll do Thor. Thor. Is that yours? Uh, Thor. All right. Okay. All right.
going to check that because I never really think I touched it to record. If I didn't record, it's going to be so sad. Hi, Mom. Trick or treat. My mom loves the mask. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Hey, Shirley. Good to have you with us today. Good to have you on. She'll love the mask. This one's not so black. How does this one look? How does Thor look? Oh, ah, creep show. Seriously. Okay. okay. What's what? What oh, you do? Creep show. Uh, creep he, show. Chris was telling us about his favorite movies. Oh, you got the headphones on. Creep show. I haven't seen it. Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen that. Creep show. Section. Okay, we're trying to uh, stay off the, uh, the hard horror. Listen to him. Hey, he wants. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. How about, how about Frank and Weenie? <laughs> <laughs> Chris is like, what? It was a cartoon. It was a cartoon. Um. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. See the fun ones when you were when you were growing up. Did you watch scary movies with your parents? No, not so much with my parents. Uh, I, in fact, I didn't watch a lot of movies with my parents, I, I guess. But um, after I, in my teen years, I, I, my brother and I, I guess we watched some scary movies then. I don't know how scary they would be <laughs> now, but, you know, um, I think the one that uh, scared me, you know, most. Was. Uh, there were two, really. Oh. One was the original Werewolf uh, with Lon Chaney. That was the first Werewolf movie that came along. That was yeah, the car oh, and, it was and then the other one was the original The Thing, uh, and that was uh, incredibly scary. Um, now, The Thing wasn't the blob. See, those no. would be great for Halloween because they're scary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they would be, um, they would be, I mean, the, yeah, interestingly enough, too, the monster in the original The Thing, which was like a 50s movie, was James Arness, who played um, in the, uh, the Western, he played Matt Dillon in Gunsmoke. But his first part was a bit part. He played the monster in uh, the thing. Yeah, the he thing. He played the thing. Do you want you your candy bar? No, I'm good. Thank Look you. Look at that candy bar. Look at that. <laughs> Jim got that for himself. <laughs> candy. Okay. Ghost. That, what, that is really said. making my favorite ghost one bus. that has the ghost theme in it. But it's so fun. So You're I right. Right, and yeah, exactly, and there are others like, uh, I don't know, the Nightmare Before Christmas, some people love that. So I didn't bring the sound cord. Oh, really? Okay. No, no kidding. That's huge, yeah. Well, that's good to know. I, I appreciate you letting us on to that. Which one? And he said that uh, Ghostbusters, uh, when you were education, as an animated series uh, and it lasted it for about five years that's amazing yeah. <laughs> all right see man that's my own heart chris and and I, we may watch that i don't know but no we only like the first one too you're right you're right so uh, yeah these are hard to um eat them so much fun on break. We were trying different masks. I'm putting on the Hulk mask right now. Apparently the Batman mask was my favorite. The Hulk mask is, how, how do you like it? What's it look like? It looks great. You have this Hulk side to you. So you oh know, no. Go, uh, I was going to do, well, I was thinking green, you know. Um, <laughs> in the 7 and 1800s, women used to perform rituals on Halloween in hopes of finding a husband. Did you know that? I had heard that somewhere, but I wasn't sure if it was actually. <laughs> this is not going to work. They would throw apple peels at each other over their shoulder. They would, hoping to see their future husband's initials and competitively bob for apples at parties. Oh, is that That's what, that what it said, oh because gosh, the winner okay. would be the first to marry. Ah. Okay, no more bobbing for apples anymore. I guess they would never. Yeah, that would yeah be, that's not going to happen anymore. Yeah. Um, the weirdest of them all, they thought standing in a dark room with a candle in front of a mirror would make their future husband's face appear. Really? Yes. Well, hey, that's one way to try it, doing it. Yes. Sure. I'm you know what I do like, though? I like taking a flashlight and holding it under your chin. 
and letting the light shine up on your face. Have you ever done that, Chris? And it is the weirdest looking thing. So you might try that just for fun over the uh, the evening time. Yeah, Chris is our producer. Yeah, Chris is out there making sure everything works for us here. And uh, we appreciate you, Chris. Thanks for being there for us today. Okay, so let's start it on our list. Okay. All right. All right. You don't want your giant candy bar? That's good. I'll eat, I will eat some of it, but just not now. Okay. So do you want to start with the movies or the things to do tonight? Well, um, why don't we start with the movies? I, I think, think having a movie marathon or a okay. movie night would be great. And so, what was your number one movie? You were well, at the one I, I I would pull out would be Ghostbusters. Um, it, it's a really hilarious movie, and uh, it's uh, it's just a it, it has this uh, uh, spirit kind of theme, weird spirit theme, uh, good triumphs over evil, you know. But it is really really kind of fun. And Chris said that's one of his favorites. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so fun. So the, I knew you were going to say that when you just I caught you off guard a minute ago. So there's also Wallace and Gromit. They have Halloween. Okay, so I'm going to throw out some of these. Um, the Adams Family, Beetlejuice, Casper. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> that wasn't that great of a show, right? But for kids, they would like it. Monster House. Did you see Monster House? Monster House was fun. It was a couple of boys, and they were scared to death. This, this house that this man had lived in had passed away, and it was empty. And so they tried to sneak into it, of course, and the house had a mouth and a tongue, and tried to keep <laughs> them right. out and kept throwing them out of the house. So it was, it was cool. Okay, how about, how about Labyrinth? That's one of my daughter's favorite movies. I have not seen that movie, and so I don't know about Labyrinth. And you've seen it, right? Yeah. Okay. David Bowie. Uh, David Bowie's in it. I knew that. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know anything about it. It's a fantasy movie. Okay. I do. It's got, it's I got unicorns and it's got bad people in it too. So it's perfect for Halloween. But so, a labyrinth, of course, is like a, a maze. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. So you'd recommend that uh, as a family movie for Halloween? Yeah. Okay, great, great. How about The Nightmare Before Christmas? What do you think? Okay, I go back and forth on that. I, I think it's a it's a fascinating movie. I think it is an incredibly creative to do what uh, what he did with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tim Burton do that. And um, he, his movies are kind of traditionally uh, characteristically creepy. Yeah. And uh, it, this one is a little creepy, and yet it's kind of fun. There's something about it that's fun. And you were talking movies when you were a kid that mm -hmm. you guys watched with your family. What were they? Well, it wasn't so much with my family overall. I, my brother and I did some movie watching together, and I was saying that the two movies that just scared the real bejeebers out of me when I was a, a kid, even as a teenager, uh, and a little earlier than that, was the original. These are the original ones, okay? Yeah. In the 50s, in particular, 40s and 50s. But the original werewolf movie with Lon Chaney, who nobody probably knows anymore, but he was the scary uh, monster guy back then, right? Uh, so he was the werewolf, and then uh, the thing, the original one, okay, the thing that came out. Then James Arness, uh, Matt Dillon from Gunsmoke played his first bit part was the thing. He was the monster in that movie, and it was terrifying. It was I mean, terrifying, I mean, and you know what? The Blob. My yeah. aunt was in the Blob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was filmed in Pennsylvania. And she's an extra, and she's running scared from the Blob. Right, right. right. We go there goes Aunt Linda. Yeah, so it was it was, but it was pretty scary, you know. And yep. I think looking back at those movies, instead of you know all these other movies that you know can be pretty scary, I would suggest consider some of the old old movies and go back. Can you move your glass? I can't see the clock there. Thank you. Yeah, go back and watch some of those. And then of course we love Lord of the Rings for Halloween, the Harry Potter. What do you think of the Harry Potter series? I love the Harry Potter series, uh, uh, especially the first one, The Fellowship of the Ring. I think is genius, and uh, it, that's you know, Lord of the Rings, though, right? Fellowship the of whole the thing Rings. is the Lord whole of the thing. Rings, so yes, okay, yes. Fellowship of the Ring is the first one. Yeah, that would be the best one. I think. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, but yeah. And those are some fun things, of course. You they can have watch wizards in them. They have goblins and ghosts. Not yeah. ghosts, but you know the, the spirits and stuff like that. There's also God's Not Dead and Left Behind. So just look at those movies. Find some fun movies. You're going to do a movie marathon. Stay right here. Okay. You are what Chris is playing, right? All right. That's I know Ghostbusters. Go Ghostbusters. Okay. <laughs> so those are movies. Any other movie you can think of? Um, let's see. Uh, I, you know, going back to the Beetlejuice movie, I kind of that that's a really it's you would say this is a weird movie. It's got Michael Keaton in it. He plays the part of this. Uh, 
uh, oh, zombie yeah, or something, just, right? And uh, yeah. kind of freaks out this young couple who are buying a house and stuff. And so I, I kind of like that because uh, of what Michael Keaton does with that part, you know? Yeah. He plays the part of this guy named Beetlejuice. And so that's kind of fun for me. Um, Beetlejuice. The Nightmare Before Christmas is sort of it. It involves Halloween and Christmas. And uh, Tim Burton did some weird stuff with that. But, you know, that can be kind of a family oriented movie. Well, and some people just love, I've heard people say they're going to go do a Criminal Minds marathon today. Yeah, yeah. It's Criminal that. Minds, uh -huh. right? Like, like um, mysteries, and so that's one of our suggestions, actually, right. is to have uh, a mystery movie night, mm -hmm. you know? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's so really I think true. that War of the Worlds was October 30th, October 30th, 1939. Yeah, Orson Welles uh, nearly got sued for everything he was worth over that broadcast. Yeah, it almost did. Yeah. yeah, in fact, laws were written after that to keep that from happening anymore because it was nearly a it was a nationwide panic when he did this thing because people interrupted the broadcast and caught it halfway through. They thought aliens had landed here. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. They had, yeah, that's right, they did. And they had a guy fried to death at his microphone, you know, a reporter and all that. And, and, uh, now, I mean, did, did he normally, Orson Welles, did he put on shows like that normally, or was this just out of the blue? He wrote on that? No, oh, no kidding. That's great. Very so he did a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, that was he, like yeah. cool. So just think if we had a show and we shut down everywhere, like all the media <laughs> had to sh like shut me down because it was just so uh, every well they had to they would have to do what we're doing now with the pandemic is shut everything down. Mm -hmm. So it terrified people so badly. So I wouldn't want to terrify people, right? No, but see, if ever. War of the Worlds terrified people, so Tom Cruise remade that movie. Well, he was in that movie. They remade War of the Worlds. It was not so great. Was it Tom? Oh, Tom Cruise, yeah. No, I, I, and you know, here's the thing. In in the real in the in the uh, in the HUL story, there was no girl. Okay, I mean, <laughs> there there, no there were some guys who were traveling through trying to make it and get away. But in the movie, they always have to put a girl. In. So if right. you were listening to right, it, right. if you had known, so go back yeah. and analyze it. You know now that people were moving in the city. He was saying they were going from location to location, but it wasn't taking very long. Right. It should have taken 10 minutes or 20 minutes. <laughs> yep, you sure do. And, and especially the sound. I, I, that is the most fascinating thing to me, how they did, used to do that. I wonder if you can do something. What's that? Frank and Barry for Halloween series. Got it? Oh. on October 30th. Yep, yep. And it scared people so badly they had to shut down the country, kind of. Yeah. Kind of like what they do now with right. the pandemic. And um, they had to sh uh, did they turn in, did they just shut it off the air too? Did he, or did he finish? He finished. Oh my gosh. In fact, at the end, he said, this is, you know, we're glad you listened in. This is just our way of jumping out at, at you in a sheet and saying boo. 
on Halloween. But the problem was, I mean, people were so panicked, there were people ready to commit suicide because they thought aliens had landed here. Okay, so, you know, Chris, our producer, was saying if people had listened, you know, really, I mean, if they were calm, calmer when they were listening to it, they would have realized that if he's going from, like, the gym to the city hall, that it, it takes 10, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, things like that. Yes? Yes. <laughs> yes, the cops weren't listening to War of the Worlds. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes, I don't think that with all the fake news, I don't I don't think people would be so I mean the hard thing now with all the fake news, it could be true and no one would believe it. <laughs> They'd all be like, whatever. <laughs> They don't. They don't check out anything. They just. They just. Throw oh, they, they gossip. So it goes from one person to the next, and it changes. But so they would have been like, aliens are landing. Oh my gosh, they're taking over the world. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, so here are 30 ideas that we suggest. Okay, that if you're home tonight or you're not going to go out today and you need to come up with things to do, the number one thing we were thinking of is turn your house into a haunted house. You can do that. Okay, so you can make different themes in different rooms. Okay, you can have snacks and drinks in different rooms. Anyway, um, you can try to scare each other in different rooms. One could be a werewolf room, one could be a vampire room. One could oh, be you're such a guy. I that, know. you can do that. You yeah. can do that. So we, we had our barn, and we put, like, curtains where they had to stick their hands down. They couldn't see where they were sticking their hands. And we had spaghetti, and we had grapes for eyeballs, and right. we peeled the skin off, right? <laughs> right. And we, we had, um, what else? What are some, oh, a rice felt like brains, and spaghetti felt like brains. Okay. But we asked them, you know, to put their hands in there, and they were very scared, and that was funny. And then we had, we had um, dried ice and a smoke machine. That is really yes. fun. Yeah. And it made the whole barn. Yeah, and purple lights. Yeah, if you get a pot, ice. some people may not know this, you just fill a pot with water, and you throw dry ice in there, and it just... It, it bubbles up, but then it overflows with uh, like this fog that comes out. It's right? really, really, really yeah, fun. That's cool. Right. So that's something. Okay, and the other thing we thought about is a murder mystery. You could write your own murder. Actually, you know, it's kind of late now because we were telling people before you could write your own. But they have them online. You can easily yeah. go on and print some off. They have murder mysteries that you can do at home. With, mm -hmm. So you have dinner and somebody. Oh, I can see it. I know who in my family would fake and die. I, I totally can see it right now happening. <laughs> Maybe the man sitting next to me. I oh, don't come know. On, come on, he come would on. just so do this really, really, really long <laughs> death that's so dramatic, and then you figure out who killed him. What happened? Did it happen in the library with the candlestick, or did they poison him? Okay, so that's pretty funny. Well, that's another you? possibility, playing Clue. Clue. Oh, yeah, playing Clue. How cool is that? If you have Clue. I still have clothes. We should get it out. How fun is that? I used to love that game. That's fun. Well, it's, so we have friends that are having a bake night tonight. They're making their own candy. Now, one of the things they love to make is caramel. Okay. Now, I've never made homemade caramel, but they make it and they put it in this huge square, you know, this big pan, mm -hmm. and it's big, giant pieces. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is crazy. It's so, so, so good. But they make candy. They mm -hmm. make cookies and decorate the cookies. Well, for that's Halloween. what I was thinking. You know, you can make cookies and all kinds of cupcakes and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, cupcakes. And just let everybody decorate them with uh, different kinds of Halloween symbols and things like that. You know, I think that'd be fun. Yes. And then you eat them, right? And, and of course you eat them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we were again saying spooky movie marathon. Um, and I had I I didn't even think about Mandalorian, the TV series Mandalorian. You mentioned the series. What was that series, Chris? The Ghostbusters uh, yeah. animated series, animated series. Oh, yeah? <gasps> the Monsters! I thought about the Addams Family, but I did. The Monsters actually were before them. That's a gr that was a great series. <laughs> really? It would be, yeah. Young Frankenstein, that is funny. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Or, or, or there's also Frankenweenie. That's about the dog. And it is based on Frankenstein. But also, how about Yoda? Okay, I have kids dressing up as Yoda. 
Okay, not yep. my kids, but in our neighborhood, they have Yoda costumes. Okay, I saw deer costumes. I, don't, I never have seen people dressed up in deer. One of our daughters is going to a party today yep. dressed up like a deer. She, I don't know where she got her costume. Yep. But I'm thinking, if people are dressing up like Yoda because of Mandalorian, mm -hmm. okay, how about Star Wars? Yeah. Right? So I'm just throwing that out. Okay, candy hunt in your own home. So you, give, you can give clues where you hit them. So it's kind of like a hide-and-seek, trick-or-treat kind of thing. Yeah, in your own house. Right? Yeah, it'll be really fun. Uh, costume contest, but there's you can only do it with household things. No no fancy bought costumes, okay? Right. Just household things, and then see who can come up with the best outfit, all right? That'd be kind of fun. Well, and I do have some people that last year they did a late-night drive. They did just like a late-night drive. And then told spooky stories. And the kids had their pillows and blankets in the car. And yeah, you can also get spooky stories online, I bet, couldn't you? And, and read these spooky stories. Yes, you could. I was, yeah, yeah, you yeah. would want, there are so many. So I know we used to go to the library and get them, but you know, library's probably not open today, but people go, library? Oh my gosh, you're so old. You can just get it offline. So there you go, online. So, anyway, pumpkin carving and pumpkin painting. Yes, uh, carving pumpkins is really, really fun. Yes, and I actually ordered these solar lights, little beady teeny solar lights off of Amazon, smaller than the lights we have here, and then I put them inside my pumpkins. Yeah. So they're solar and they light up inside. I love solar lights. They have all kinds of solar lights now. And they'll scare away all the spirits. They will scare away them, right? all the spirits. Yep, yep. Yes, they will. And then, okay, so um, you can take those pumpkin seeds, of course, and you can bake them. Did you ever do that? Yes, I did. They're very good. They are. And, you know, I, I, they're very good for you. They're great EFA. So back in the 70s, <laughs> 70s, people used to use pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds for EFAs instead of buying fish oil and essential fatty acids and things like that. They mm -hmm. would just use the seeds right. from pumpkins uh -huh. and sunflowers. One tablespoon a piece if you're interested. Okay. So you can make a dance tape of spooky songs and have your own dance party. Now... I know you probably have dance parties all the time. I bet you do. Okay, so, you know, dance-offs, I mean, it looks like it. We see them on YouTube. We people, see we time, see a, right? a father and a daughter and a father and a son. We see all these people doing dance-offs. So, hey, do a spooky one. Spooky songs. Spooky songs dance-off. Okay, and another idea is a scavenger hunt. Yeah. Now, I had this mom's doing a scavenger hunt, and she put fall leaves in there. She, anything from fall. So she put every color of leaf. I was like, oh, I wouldn't have thought of leaf. I would have thought really cool, fun stuff, right? But she was going for the fall theme. So um, uh, now I actually had some guys say do a prank night. Now you didn't like that idea. I'm just not a prank guy, you know. I guess maybe I'm not uh, creative enough to come up with great pranks. But neither do I like pranks played on me. So maybe that says something about my personality. Well, and he said last man standing after, you know, it wins. And I'm like, what kind of pranks are we talking about here? Last man standing. So whatever, if you whoever, if you understand that, and you you might be a guy. I don't know, but then go for it. Okay. So um, the photo spooky shoot. So a lot of people they love selfies, take photos, but you want to take spooky photos. All right. So you know people thought costumes and all that, but I'm telling you, I had some people come up with some pretty scary ones, and I don't know how they did it editing them. They put like a ghost in the background. No. Or they had somebody coming out from behind, uh -huh. like hidden, but yeah. you couldn't, they weren't like in the photo, they were photo bombing from mm -hmm. behind, looking really scary. Anything like that scary clothes, um, you could try on old costumes. Now, the funny thing is, will they fit? Because <laughs> I found all these costumes of my daughters for today, and I was telling her all about them, and she's like, those don't even fit, Mom, they don't even fit. So you might have a hard time trying them on. But we had fun putting on, you, you, your old military stuff, my dad's old military yeah, stuff, yeah. my mom's dresses, things like that. That I was still fun. still in my uniform. Oh, God, you that. do, yes. How, how about a girl's night? I'm not saying guys can't do this, but I'm saying girl's night because doing like a Manny Petty, Manny Pedicure tonight, uh, you could use black or purple, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, if a man wants to do that, he can, of course. Yeah, well, um, yeah. Now, the other thing was somebody said that they like to, they like to watch unsolved Mysteries, uh -huh. things like that that are unsolved, and, real ones. I right, think. and propose solutions. To yes. Yeah. Try to that solve them. Yeah. Right. 
So that's an idea, and they were talking about criminal, criminal minds mm -hmm. as well. There are people that just love criminal minds, right? And so they'll watch it. We were talking about ancient aliens. You should watch ancient aliens. There are all kinds of ancient alien things on YouTube. You can go and watch it. They're hilariously aliens, funny. You know? But some of them are scary. And you're talking about demons one. coming down to yeah, Earth. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That the giants are demons, right? The giants are Nephilim. Anyway, it can be pretty uh, interesting for a Halloween, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you thought about just going to drive-in movies. I mean, they do have drive-in movies, like 7th Street in Fort Worth right. has a drive-in. They do. And then you don't have to worry about the virus. Mm -hmm. And then I'm sure there's some drive-ins in Dallas, but if you have a drive-in in your city, go for it. That would be really, really They're cool. probably showing some spooky films tonight, if you want to yeah. try it. Or, yeah. yeah, probably so. Yes. And uh, I saw, actually, that Ghostbusters was going to play at the uh, Lancaster Theater. Oh, the Lancaster? Yes, really? they That's had the on theater, there you know? some... Oh, yeah, I, I actually uh, took a picture of the two movies... And then they had a Western they were playing, and so, on Halloween, so I thought that was funny. Now, that would be like Aliens and Cowboys. I don't know what they were playing. I can't remember, but it, it was actually an old Western, and then they had a, like, Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. So, okay. Some, so movie theaters, if you want to go to a movie theater, so there won't be that many people there, I would think, on Halloween, but they're showing scary movies, mm -hmm. so the older ones, not new ones, you know, and so that's an idea. So, you know, if you can't get out, those are some fun things to do tonight. I just thought of something else that's really fun. And uh, Boris Karl Karloff was, was uh, uh, involved in a, uh, a song, it's been decades ago, called The Monster, Monster Mash. Mash. And if you've never heard The Monster Mash, or if you have, pull it up tonight and listen to it. It's really, really fun, really funny. And, um, he, you know, he was, a, uh, he was the original Frankenstein in the old movie, the 40s, I think, uh, Frankenstein uh, movie, and uh, he became the spooky actor. He was the horror film uh, star uh, for so long, and so pull up Monster Mash and listen to it. That's a really fun song, and uh, he, and by, by the way, played uh, actually played the uh, his voice was the Grinch voice in the original <laughs> and the Grinch movie. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna play Monster Mash. Okay. Um, That was so fun. Okay, so Monster Mash. And we actually have a Frankenstein doll that plays that song. Pretty big, actually. <laughs> sure we, do. we have we a witch that goes, ah, 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 she plays the song. And we have a, we have a rat. We have a giant rat that plays a song. <laughs> That's that. hilarious. I can't think of what song it plays, all these Halloween songs. And they're fun. They're so fun. So we want to encourage you to choose one of those if you're staying home or be, right? And just have fun tonight. If you're carving pumpkins, put lights in them. Yeah. You know, and just have fun, make the seeds, do anything like that, because we know that tonight you do want to celebrate in some way and just have fun with your family. Um, if you're turning out your lights because you don't want people to come and you're just going to go to bed early, that's okay, too. That is so okay. We just encourage that. If you want to just rest tonight, you got to turn out your lights, though, so people don't come to your door, right? And uh, But if you are in festive and you want to hand out candy to kids, Put a mask on, like a fun mask. Get all masked up in some fun thing. Or look like a sailor or a pirate or something when you answer the door to hand out candy. Yep. And uh, we just ask that you just have fun. Smile. Remember, smile and be kind. Stay right here. We'll be right back. That was fun. Chris, that was great. Thank you so you much for doing that. You guys couldn't hear the monster so mask. Mm -hmm. what? They couldn't hear the monster mash. I brought a cord last time I plugged it in. I didn't do it this time. Oh, they couldn't hear it? They couldn't hear it. Oh, okay. So, but that's okay. Okay. 
Well, you know what? Uh, did anybody hear it? On the radio. It's on the radio. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, good. At least somebody heard it. That's a fun, fun song. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're done with all our stuff. Say again. Uh. What did you say? Halloween song. Uh, any other Halloween songs? Um. I'm sure we do. I just can't. They don't come to the, my. Halloween yeah. songs. It's so cool you pulled it up so fast. Yeah, that's the only one I can think of. Oh, the Charlie Brown Halloween. <gasps> Charlie Brown Halloween. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So you uh, have to pay Apple to, to watch it or what's the deal? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, if I was going to pay for something, it might be Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah, let me pull that up. Okay. Did I get something on me? Well, I had some black stuff mask, on me. I think, no, that was for my headphones. What's that? Oh, yeah, Thriller. Yeah, yeah, Michael Jackson Thriller. He's going to play Thriller coming back, okay? Good. Yeah, good deal, Chris, that's great. That's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. <laughs> she goes, I stayed out here all night long. <laughs> Blockhead. Okay. Dr. Seuss Halloween is Grinch Night. Grinch. I didn't, I didn't know that uh, Dr. Seuss had a Halloween night. No, I don't think that they do. Okay. I mean, maybe they do. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of stuff, that's for sure. Yeah, so a Halloween song, Thriller. Yeah. Song. That was some video, wasn't it? That thriller oh, video? So wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't see any other Halloween songs. How come we can't think of any Halloween songs? Can you guys think of Halloween songs? Who did you did you say, Chris? Oh yeah, yeah, I know that I know who that is. What yeah, is it? yeah. He is such a weird dude. <laughs> Other songs? Are you trying to think and of other songs or what? Well, I was, but I gave up on that. Thriller will be great. All right. Almost a minute. Welcome back. Do you recognize the song? This is Thriller by Michael Jackson. And if you've not seen the video, the video is perfect for Halloween. Yeah, that's a great video. I'm sure probably everybody's seen it by now, but it is really, really good. Go back and watch it. Yes, so I got some text. So some people were saying that I you can set up a candy graveyard in your backyard. Okay. So okay. I'm trying to figure it out. Hide the kids. Thank you, brother. Hide the candy around the yard, much like an Easter egg hunt, but a holiday egg hunt. Your own children can hunt around the yard. It yeah, is. that's a good idea. Great yeah. idea. So you can buy tombstones if you want, but you can just make some sure. out of cardboard, which yeah. is what they did. They put, you know, lights, solar lights. Oh, solar lights! Look at that. I love solar lights. You can buy them. We keep buying them because they come. You know, we put them out in the trees. So I know. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, we could actually do that for Christmas. Yeah, you put them everywhere. You could make a, a two tombstone with a chocolate and just say, you know, rest in chocolate. R.I.P. R.I.C. Rest in chocolate. 
So they talk about Halloween. I got this one. They don't really go into a lot of explanation, but Halloween squish mellows, mallows. So marshmallows. Oh, okay. Um, so they they that have about s'mores. Well, we talked about the s'mores. We forgot we, to we, say yeah, s'mores today. Yeah, that would today. be really a neat thing to do. Yeah, to make s'mores and listen to scary scary stories. Yep. Tell each other scary stories around a campfire outside. Have a fire outside. How cool is that? Yeah, that'd be great. Um, now, if you can, they, at Walmart actually has these little cans that are like little fires, you know, like for campfires, you can buy those. Or you could... Like sterno pans? Or yeah, something. or, okay, if you have to do the... You can do s'mores in the microwave, but it's just really fun, so... You know, it's just not the same as it in the microwave as it is over a campfire. Well, and she said, you know, tell the scary stories and have glow sticks oh, yeah, for the kids. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. You know, they can um, watch scary movies and eat popcorn. Yeah. Okay, that was one. Mm -hmm. um, okay, cookies or cupcakes. Make cookies or cupcakes. All right. Those yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to skip that one. <laughs> I'm skipping one. <laughs> <laughs> I can only laugh. Okay, I'm skipping that. Okay. Um, how about a backyard fire or cook off? That's what we talked about. We they said grab a witch's pot. It might be too late. Cook, cook up some witch stew for dinner. And have fun outside activities uh -huh. with kids, you know. So we talked about camping in the backyard tonight, and have blankets and pillows and tell scary stories. Because we would, our kids would want to camp in the backyard, right? So we would put a tent back there as a reward. So we'd have a tent, and we'd get the lantern, and we'd have everything in there, and it would only last like an hour, and they would run inside because they'd get scared, <laughs> and they wouldn't make it through the night in the yard. So that was pretty fun. Yeah, it'd take you two hours to put up the tent, and they would enjoy it till one hour. And <laughs> in, right? Yeah, but it is. It's kind of scary to do that, right? So you can tell stories, and you can shine your flashlights from outside. Yeah. Kind of like scare them, you know, anything like that. But that's that's really fun, and it's going to be pretty. It's not going to be cold. Yeah. It'll so be a nice night, probably. <laughs> um, this one has make plague mask that you make at home for Halloween. The, I don't know how you make plague masks, but it sounds kind of funny. Well, you can make all kinds of masks, like your skin is melting off your face, oh. and it's all turning green and pussy. And, oh, okay, okay. Got you. There. Okay. Yeah, that's an idea. So, um, oh, they have fixers. Oh, cool. All right. So, they have another lady said that they, they are creating tonight, they're creating centerpieces for oh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, so, they're working cool. on making beautiful flower centerpieces and stuff like that with music with their friends and wine. She said they're going to have wine. So I hadn't heard wine on Halloween, but hey, go for it. Why not? Why not? So getting with your friends is so fun. Now, if you don't want to get with anybody because you can't, you pay cause, so you have to do Zoom or FaceTime or, you know, even just phone, have fun. Yeah. Tell stories. What then you can watch scary movies together. You're watching the movie, they're watching the movie, and you can talk about the movie, mm -hmm. right? Whether you're on Zoom or the phone or yeah, something absolutely. like that. And uh, you can, you know, just visit. So we really encourage you to socialize tonight. Not socially distance, but socially don't distance. Right. Okay? I don't care what you do physically, whether you distance or not. But socially, we want you to reach out. Because getting the Getting Better show is to help you learn to get better. Right. And, you know, this whole thing is about having a good time and enjoying this holiday and not being afraid or, or worried about uh, what you're doing. No? Yes, and we just we pray blessings on you today. We uh, cast out any demons that are really anything like that, any of those spirits. Just say, get away from me, Satan, and call in angels and just be blessed and have a wonderful night. And we just ask that you have an incredible, incredible time this Halloween with your family. And this week, we'll get together next week. But until then, just have fun. Have fun and have a blessed Halloween. You want to say anything I'm else? I'm just before? saying be blessed. Be, be blessed, blessed. Yep. yes, and enjoy yourself. And we'll see you ne back next week. Mm -hmm. You'll next join time. me again. Yes, and um, just have a beautiful day because it is beautiful outside. Thanks for joining us. And keep getting, getting better. better. Fun, everybody. Thank you for joining us, all of you who are on with us today. That was great.